Hello friend, it's Boris Legend here and today we have a squad builder, a 200k squad builder and this team can beat any team for sure. This is a very 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 strong team, very OP as you would say in uh, in FIFA terms. And uh, at the moment this team is a little bit more expensive than 200k, maybe it's about 250k due to the market right now that is on fire. But uh, anytime it's gonna drop down to the normal prices and then this team is going to be uh, around 200k. And uh, first off, in the goal we have uh, we have Butland and he has uh, he has the height, he has good diving, good reflexes and he has a very very good trait that is comes out for crosses. So at corners and crosses he will not just stand at the line and look he will run out and uh, try to grab the ball and that is a very very good trait and he is a, a very good goalkeeper and we're using uh, glove as a chemistry style that gives him a boost to uh, diving uh, handling and positioning the defense here we have Smalling and Barsagli both are very strong they are fast they are tall and tall defenders they make more interceptions they have uh, and especially if they have this fat body type that some players have, like for example Smalling and, uh, and Barzali, they have this you know this fat body type, and they just feel much stronger. They cover more ground, they are blocking shots better, etc., etc. And um, as you see here, we have uh, we have anchor, and anchor is for sure the best chemistry style for defenders if they already have good pace, and this gives a boost to pace, defending, and physics, and physics in this game is so important. They have the strength to win challenges, to win headers and uh, and so on. That is very important in FIFA 17 because this is a physical game. At the left back we have uh, Luke Shaw and he is one of the best left backs in the game together with uh, we have uh, Alaba of course, Alexandro and, and Luke Shaw is uh, one of the best. He is uh, he's big you know he's big he is uh, fast he's strong and he also has a very good uh, uh, technique so he is uh, very very solid and we're using anchor for him uh, as well and with anchor he's gonna get plus seven pace so he's gonna get get 89 pace and that is that is uh, enough um, and then we have at the right back we have Lichtsteiner and I know some of you might say well where is Florenzi where is Abate but they don't have the height as uh, this man and he has he has the height and he has the best possible work rates for a wingback he has high high and um, that's why we we pick him here and uh, also you can see that we picked shadow and not anchor because he is a little bit slower and he already has very very good physics um, so we're gonna use shadow which gives plus 12 to pace and plus 12 to defending so he's gonna have 93 pace and 91 defending and with these work rates he's going to be a, a true beast and this defense line you know even if you play against Ronaldo or legends you know these guys can stop anyone trust me they have everything that is required for a defensive line in FIFA 17 so before we get into the midfield I'm gonna tell you this trick that we're going to use I'm not gonna play this formation in the game so when the game starts I'm gonna switch over to 4-3-1-2 we just press pause and we change the positions and it's going to look like this we're gonna have Sissoko here like this and everybody will keep 10 chemistry and this allows us to use this beast um, Sissoko as a CM he is a very good area he has so good physics he has a uh, good pace and decent uh, dribbling shooting and passing as well as using Martial but let's just uh, first start with the midfield so we have Dembele and as I said before I love having a left footed CM and uh, he also has, uh, as you can see, four-star skill moves. He has good physics. He's tall. He has good dribbling, good shooting, um, or not the best shooting. But that's also why we gave him Hawk because Hawk will give him a 
a boost to shooting, pace and physics. And on the other side we have Marchisio. And same here, this guy has it all. He has uh, very good um, dribbling, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, good passing, good physics, he's fast. He's just all round player and uh, giving engine a boost to, to pace, dribbling and passing. And he has also very very good long shots, so he's gonna run up on his uh, right wing and just just like Dembele, either he's gonna use his skill moves to cut in and uh, look for a pass or just for a long shot in the far post. And Firmino is going to play as a cam, and that's why I gave him engine. Engine gives a boost to pace, pass, and dribbling, and that's exactly uh, what I want for my cam. And he's also. He has good work rates, he has 4-4 four, four in, in, uh, in weak foot and skill moves, he has good shooting, uh, he is very solid as, as a cam. Then we come to the attack, and we always want one very very big guy that is good on uh, set pieces, and we have Lukaku, and we give him uh, Hunter, which gives a boost to, uh, to pace and, um, and shooting, because he, he, he definitely needs pace. On the other side we have Martial. And he already has pace, so we give him uh, Dead Eye, which gives him a boost to shooting and passing. As you can see on, on his stats, that is what he lacks. So here is the team, and on the bench, you know, it's not necessary to have these expensive players, because this is around 8-9k for these subs, but they are very, very useful. We have Moose and Williams, who's going to uh, get in in the second half, maybe around... 77th or 17th minute and they're just gonna come in with these fresh legs they are fast they have good finishing and then we also have uh, Sanchez and Sanchez can play in all uh, defensive positions but you don't have to use exactly these subs just look for having two attacking players who are fast and have good uh, finishing and one defensive player that can play in all positions and then we have uh, the mandatory bronze bench First of all, we don't need more than three subs, and then with the bronze bench, we're gonna lower our rating. There is a lot, a lot of bullshit going on, and that's why all pro players have bronze bench to lower their their rating. So let's see how this uh, team works in game. So this is Division One, and uh, when the game starts, we just press pause. We go to formation, switch to four, three, one, two. Put Sissoko as a CM, Firmino as a CAM, Dembele to the left, instructions, getting behind for both strikers and stay back while attacking for the wingbacks. And you see, this took me uh, 20 seconds and just, just practice this every game and uh, it will go very fast. And if you just see this uh, defensive line, it's so hard to create anything because they are so, so fast and so big and so strong. And here's a counter-attack, uh, Martial he should score, but uh, his goalkeeper makes a great save. And here's another example of, of this defensive line, just look at Luke Shaw, he just eats his attackers. And he have uh, a much more valuable team here, but it doesn't matter because we have uh, an OP 200k squad, so he just can't do shit. And um, here is another time, just... Like just the presence of my tall defenders uh, makes him scared. And then we have this chance here, Firmino, he's a great cam, he has great dribbling, great shooting and just uh, shows it there. And then uh, Firmino again finds Martial who has great finishing, he has a financial trait, we have 2-0. And then around 75, uh, the 70th minute we uh, take in some fresh legs, Sanchez and Iñaki Williams. And very soon we have Dembele who finds the sub, uh, Renato Sanchez, he is uh, a true beast and we have 3-0 and then shortly after he, uh, he, just, he just loses his temper and 4-0 and we have a rage quit and just look at the stats, we had zero shots on our target, our goalkeeper didn't have to do anything and because we have such a strong defense and such a strong midfield that is so hard to get through. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.